Hi, my name is Dr. Preeti Shah, and I'm a psychologist at CAPS, which is Counseling and Psychological Services. Students often come to us for things like stress and anxiety, and a big component of that is time management. We often refer students to the Academic Resource Center to get help with this. Today, we have Monica Burnett, the director of the Academic Resource Center, to talk to you about time management. My name is Monica Burnett and I'm the director of the Academic Resource Center. We're here to help you improve, progress, and succeed here at Seton Hall. We're your one-stop shop for academic tutoring, skill building workshops, online resources, and more. We're located in Arts and Sciences Hall on the second floor. Come on by and we'd be happy to help. Do you find that it's hard to balance your time? Do you have a hard time balancing your school, your life, and your family and friends? Well, you are definitely not alone. Time management can be one of the hardest things that students struggle with. In fact, 80 to 95% of college students admit that they procrastinate when it comes to their schoolwork. So why is it really important to have good time management skills? Poor time management can lead to a variety of different things, including stress, anxiety, and poor academic performance. When you can manage your time, you'll feel better about your day and how you'll be successful in school. So how can you practice better time management? Here are five steps that you can implement now. The first step is to assess your current schedule. Keep track of how you're spending your time in your academics, your social, and extracurricular activities. There are 24 hours in a day and 168 hours in a week. It's important to keep track of the time that you're spending. How much time do you actually think that you're spending on your schoolwork? Keep a log for the next three days to really find out how you're assessing your time. And then ask yourself, do I spend too much time socializing? Do I spend too much time watching TV or going out? If these answers are yes, then you might need to assess your time management. The second step is to prepare. Study before class and after class as much as possible. Even setting up short periods of time for studying can be very successful. Refer to your syllabus. You can reread your syllabus right before class to make sure that you are aware of due dates and deadlines. So how much time should you study? To be successful in class, you should set aside two hours a week for every class credit that you're in. So for example, if you're taking 12 credits of class, you should set aside 24 hours of study time to do well in your classes. The third step is to prioritize. Make a to-do list and prioritize things A, B, and C. Aim to have all the A's done by the deadline that you've established. Cross or check off any items that you've completed to make sure that you know that you've done a good job. The fourth step is to practice discipline. Identify your time wasters and try not to procrastinate. The average person gets at least one interruption every eight minutes or about 50 to 60 interruptions a day. This can lead to three hours of wasted time a day. Things like increased dependence on technology, fear of failure, and decreased structure are reasons why that students procrastinate. Which leads me to my fifth step, which is keep at it and don't give up. If you have an off day, brush it off and try again tomorrow. Charles Buxton once said, you will never have time for anything. If you want time, you must make it. So if your goal is to improve your academic performance here at Seton Hall, you must make the time to improve, progress, and succeed. Studies say that it takes about 21 days to establish a habit. Try your best to stick to a schedule, but know that unexpected things might come up. My bonus tip is to ask for help. There are many campus resources available to help you with your time management, including the Academic Resource Center. Again, we're located in Arts and Sciences Hall on the second floor. You can come on by, check out our website, or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Good luck with your time management.